Hi, this is Claire Tu from Paysetter Sports and Wellbeing and today, for Paysetter at Home, I'm going to be telling you a story. It's my favourite story, so sit back somewhere nice and comfortable and I hope you enjoy it. Today's story is Lettuce, the Dancing Rabbit by Mandy Stanley. Lettuce Rabbit and her family lived high up on top of the hill. Nibble, nibble, hop, hop. Every day was the same. Until the day Lettuce saw a picture pinned to a tree. It was then that she knew she wanted to be like the little girl in the picture. She wanted to be a dancer more than anything else in the world. Lettuce thought that town would be the best place to find out more. So she hopped there all by herself. She'd never been that far in her life. Town was exciting almost too exciting. There were lots of busy people, noisy babies, chatty children and big scary dogs. Seeing an open door, Lettuce peeked in and there she saw dancers just like the one in the picture. I want to dance, she cried rushing in. The music stopped and everybody looked. Please may I join in? asked Lettuce shyly. Yes, said the surprised teacher. But first you must get dressed in your ballet clothes. Lettuce didn't know what to do. She'd never worn clothes before. You can get them at the shop we get ours from, called one of the little girls. At the shop, Lettuce tried on all the clothes. But the dresses dragged on the floor, the shoes were like flippers, and the cardigan was huge. Lettuce began to cry. Then the shop assistant brought out a ballerina doll. All the doll's clothes fitted perfectly. Now Lettuce was ready. Lettuce hopped back to the ballet class. First she had to learn the ballet positions. She watched and listened very carefully, copying the other dancers. The ballet teacher showed to her how to hold her head so high that her ears would look graceful. Lettuce worked very hard. She turned out her long toes and stretched up her arms and tried not to wobble. When she jumped, it looked as though she were flying through the air. When she twirled and whirled, she was almost a blur. Every week, Lettuce went to town for the class and at home, she practiced every spare minute of the day. The teacher thought Lettuce was very special and was amazed at her extraordinary jumps. Lettuce worked so hard that each night she went to bed very tired but happy. A few weeks later it was the end of term show. Lettuce had been chosen to, for the starring role. She had a gorgeous costume, there was even a tiny crown. All Lettuce's family had come to see her. Lettuce was so nervous she thought she'd never be able to dance at all. The lights went down, the music began. Lettuce took a deep breath and leapt onto the stage. She glittered and twirled and soared through the air. The rabbit family was so proud, they clapped their soft little paws all through the show. When it was all over, the rabbit family was so excited they rushed straight home. Wait for me, squeaked Lettuce, but they didn't hear her. Poor Lettuce. She was tired and alone and she slowly walked home. The rain fell. She felt so miserable, she just wanted to crawl into the warm, cosy burrow and fall asleep. The next day, the rabbit family were busy collecting apples, cabbages and carrots ready for their picnic. Lettuce won't want to come, said her brothers and sisters. She's a star now. But Lettuce heard them and felt very hurt. How could they go without her? She pulled off the crown and threw off the dress. She kicked off her shoes and scrambled out of her tights. Wait for me, she cried and raced up the hill. She could feel the sun on her fur, the grass between her toes and the wind in her ears. It was wonderful. Lettuce had found out what it felt like to be a ballerina, but she knew that being a rabbit was by far the very best thing in the world. 
Like lettuce, it is brilliant to have goals and aims and to work hard to achieve them. However, we need to make sure that we remember that we are good enough as the person we are and not spend all our time trying to be someone else, someone who might, we might not be comfortable being and to remember the people around us who support us so that we can still have fun times with them and they not think that they've, we have forgotten about them. I hope you've enjoyed this story and I look forward to seeing you again soon.